Before we get started, remember that trading is risky and you could lose all of your investment. This video is for educational purposes only and is not trading, tax, or investment advice of any kind. Past performance does not guarantee future results. Hey, what's up traders? This is Hugh Kimura. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a backup of MetaTrader 4 and sync that backup between multiple computers. Now, why is this useful? Obviously, if your computer crashes, you can retrieve that backup. If you want to use the same settings for MetaTrader on multiple computers, you can just access it in th with this method. And it just saves you a lot of time from setting up MetaTrader from scratch all over again. So let's take a look at how to do this. To get started, you're going to need Dropbox. So just head on over to dropbox.com and sign up for a free account. And at least you can try this out and see if it works for you. Just a word of note here, if you need a lot of historical data from MT4 and you're going to be downloading um, a lot of historical data, then the free Dropbox account probably won't work. But if you only need recent data, then that's fine. You won't need the pro version of Dropbox. Either way, you can just start by signing up for the free account and then download Dropbox onto your computer and get it installed. Once you get Dropbox installed, you'll have a Dropbox folder here. And then you can create a subfolder. For example, I created MT here for my MetaTrader install and then install MetaTrader into this Dropbox folder. Okay, now there's one more step that you have to follow. Right click on terminal and then create shortcut. And this is gonna create a terminal shortcut here. So right click on this and then go to properties. Now at the end of this target field, you're gonna put space forward slash portable. And then you're gonna say okay and then apply. Now, anytime you launch MetaTrader 4, you want to use this shortcut because that portable command is going to tell MetaTrader 4 to save all of your indicators and all of your custom templates and everything into this Dropbox folder instead of saving it to the user profile, which does not get backed up into Dropbox. Now, anytime that you're on a new computer or your computer crashes or whatever, and you have to reinstall, you don't have to set everything up all over again. Your templates, your EAs, and your indicators will all be there. There is one limitation with this, however. You cannot use the same Dropbox install on multiple computers at once. This is because MetaTrader is always updating files and it'll get confused as to which is the right file to write to Dropbox. And instead of consolidating all of these changes, it simply makes multiple uh, files and this leads to a big mess. For example, if you do this on multiple computers at the same time, you're gonna have a lot of extra charts. Like you will notice that if you open MetaTrader once, you'll maybe have two charts and then the next time you open it, you have four charts and then the next time like eight charts. And this is because you have it open on two computers at once and it's constantly writing back and forth. So it's duplicating those charts. So in order to use it on multiple computers, you have to close it on one computer and then open it on the other computer. I know that's a little bit of a pain, but it's a small price to pay for backing up your entire MetaTrader install. So if you have any questions, let me know below. If this video helped you, please like this video and share it with your friends. All right, thanks for watching.